We're in <laughs> Maui! Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Jalen. I'm a travel and lifestyle creator based in New York City. And in this video, I'll be taking you guys along on my trip to the island of Maui and sharing some of my favorite places to eat and things to do on this island. My hair. <laughs> I oh my know. God. Our journey started off at Time Me Up where we got some lunch while we waited to check into our Airbnb. It's about a 30 minute drive and I would definitely recommend renting a car when you guys are out in Maui as everything is pretty much spread out. We decided to stay in Kihei and I would definitely recommend it as it's in a really central location. Our Airbnb has three bedroom suites meaning each bedroom has its own full size bathroom. The first bedroom is on the ground floor. The kitchen is also really really big and spacious, perfect for groups. I had a family of six with me and it has a separate dining area and a couch. And then moving on upstairs are the remaining two bedrooms. The first bedroom upstairs has a queen size bed and a separate area to just chill, a little nook area and also its own bathroom. Every bathroom has a standing shower and the water pressure was super strong. And then the last bedroom is this one that has a king size bed, obviously another bathroom. And then this one also has a balcony which is super nice. Andy spent a lot of time out here working out and just working throughout the day and this one actually overlooks the ocean as well. Since everything is so spread out, we decided to dedicate a day to each location. So today we are exploring Lahaina which is about a 30 to 40 minute drive up the coast from Kihei and the drive itself is super scenic and obviously the first place we had to go was one of my favorite spots for brunch. We just got to Maui and we're going to be eating at 808 Grind. I really like eating the local mocha there, rice, egg and sausage. This place is really popular so prepare to wait a little bit but I promise the food is so worth it. These vegan ube pancakes were so delicious. Next stop is Drift Coffee to get some midday caffeine in my system. Love the coffee here and also just so happened to be the same owner as a sale company that we are going on for sunset. We just got some Dole Whip with fresh pineapple. They had a bunch of different options. They had tahini and chamoy and also like ones in pineapple. Mmm, so refreshing. While waiting to depart on our sunset sail, we decided to walk around Front Street on the Lahaina Harbor. It has a bunch of restaurants and shops and even if you guys aren't going on a sunset cruise, I would definitely recommend checking this area out anyways. And you definitely gotta go to Ululani's which is one of my favorite shaved ice spots. I got strawberry mango coconuts with haupia cream which is vegan. So good. We sailed with Sail Maui and I believe it was about 100 per person. There are some small bites for you to enjoy on board along with unlimited drinks. You can also bring your own food on board. We brought poke for ourselves to enjoy for sunset and overall I feel like it was a really good experience but I think my parents really enjoyed this. We ended the night at Down the Hatch which is right across the street. We ordered a bunch of different things to try and overall my favorite were the fried fish tacos and this fresh catch of the day right here. Good morning! It is currently 8.30. I've been waking up so early at like 6 a.m. because 6 a.m. in Hawaii is like 11 in New York. Well, I sleep late and wake up late so I, don't, I feel like I don't really have to adjust to the time. I've been sleeping at like 9 which is perfect. It's like 2 o'clock in the morning. Right now we're heading um, to a coffee shop and then to Wow Wow Lemonade to pick up some acai bowls for my family. The area that we're staying at in Kihei is very central to everything. Like Foodland Farms is like less than a mile. It's like half a mile. My mom and I walked there yesterday to get some food and then everything is pretty much within like a couple mile radius. Wow Wow and the coffee shop is like a mile and a half but I didn't really want to walk 30 minutes each way so we're just driving there now and then Andy, my dad and my sister are going on a helicopter ride. That should be exciting. Um, today I think we're just gonna stay in Kihei and 
kind of hang out until they get back from the helicopter ride. Probably explore Kihei today because tomorrow we're going to Hana, which is probably just gonna be an all day thing. And then Wednesday, we are leaving already. This trip went by so fast. Andy's been waking up super early and running every single day along the along the coast. Yeah. And he's been getting his little three mile runs in. Picked up some coffee. I got a an ice oat matcha latte, and he got his usual ice oat vanilla latte. It is so good. The matcha quality. I don't know what they use actually, but it's really good. I got it unsweetened, and it's perfect. Right now, we're going to Wow Wow Lemonade to grab some acai bowls, and then we're gonna head back to the Airbnb. Andy brought my sister and my dad on a helicopter ride near the airport. So on the way back, they brought us 808 plates and this is one of my favorites ever. They finished the helicopter ride and picked up some 808 plates. We tried to go after the airport the other day and they were closed on a random, like they were closed randomly. I got the ribeye steak. It comes with rice and salad. Andy got the garlic shrimp. Mmm. Oh, it smells so good. It's hella garlicky. After lunch, we went to Maui Pai to get one of my favorite desserts here on the island or in Hawaii in general. It's the chocolate haupia pie. I can never find it in New York and I have to get it every time I'm here. It is the best. Another great place to get pies is Leota's Pie Shop, which is on the way to Lahaina. So definitely check that out as well. We spent the rest of the afternoon hanging around the Kihei area and then for sunset we headed over to Wailea Beach which was a short drive from our Airbnb. My sister got engaged a few months ago so I got to take her engagement photos and they turned out so nice. I'll share a few of the photos at the end. I shot it both on digital and on film. This beach is connected to a few of the luxury hotels so Four Seasons and Fairmont. So it was a little bit busy but the location was stunning. Also a fun fact, this is where they filmed White Lotus season 1, if you guys recognize this beach. We decided to spend our last full day on Maui doing Road to Hana and I would highly recommend slotting out the entire day to doing this because there are a ton of beautiful viewpoints and local stands and things to see along the way. I would also recommend checking the weather before you go because it can be pretty scary driving there if it's rainy so definitely recommend going on a sunnier day. We made it to our first stop, we are at the garden. Checking out some waterfalls. Okay. Terrified of literally any bug on any island. We were using, oh, I was using the bathroom and there was a spider right above me. And then also a huge mosquito, like the ones with the hairs on them. I was fighting for my life on that toilet, but you gotta do what you gotta do. We got the famous banana bread from halfway to halfway to Hana. We're at a viewpoint right now, but um Everyone else went up. This is the best banana bread, you tell me. Is it delicious? I don't really know good banana bread from bad banana bread, so I can't really judge. And just like that, our journey has come to an end. Because we had a bigger car, we didn't want to drive at night, so we ended a little bit early. Please be mindful, the roads are very narrow, and we've almost gone hit at least twice because other tourists decided to drive in the middle of the roads and very fast during the turns. So please, please be careful, and as always, please be respectful of the land. We ended our last night getting a bunch of poke and seafood and it was so delicious coming from New York. I don't have this often. And the next day before the airport, we stopped at the famous shrimp truck because the first day that we went there, they had a fire in the kitchen, but they're doing well now. We got their famous garlic butter and also the spicy pineapple and both were really good. Would highly recommend either one of them. 
And that is it for our Maui trip. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments and I'll be sure to answer them. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next destination. Thank you.